don't know if you heard me this morning. Good morning, dear faithful. We praise God once again for bringing us together this morning to offer these morning prayers to help us to pray and as we anticipate the kingdom of heaven which is to come in the divine liturgy we thank all of those who are here present for those who continue to pray with us from afar and to offer your candles to be lit let us pray all at this time and forevermore as one <clears throat> blessed is our god always now and ever and to the ages of ages Amen. Glory to our God, our hope, glory to O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who are present and fill us all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life. Come and abide in us and cleanse us from every stain and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and ever, to the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive us our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, Father who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For you are the kingdom and the power and glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever to the ages of ages. Amen. Save the Lord, you people. Bless your inheritance. Grant them victory to the faithful of the enemy. And bring your cross back your commonwealth. <laughs> Glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We lift on the cross voluntarily of Christ our God. Bestow your tender compassion upon the new community to which you gave your name. By the faithful emperor to be glad in your power. Grant them the victories from, the, from their adversaries. And from the ally, Lord, may they have you. Peace is their armor. The Soviet be invincible. Now and ever, the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Awesome and simple protection of good and praise to the Theotokos. Do not despise our petitions. Make friend the community of the Orthodox. Save those whom you call the rule. Grant them victory from heaven. You, you gave birth to God, our truly blessed. For you are merciful God who loves mankind, and to you we give glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. Glory to the holy and consubstantial and life-giving and undivided Trinity, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest on earth, peace, good will toward men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, good will toward men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, good will toward men. You, O Lord, shall up my lips, my mouth will declare your praise. You, O Lord, shall up my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. O Lord, how greatly multiplied are those who afflict me. Many have risen up against me. Many say to my soul, there is no salvation for him and his God. But you, O Lord, I'm my protector, my glory, the one lifting up my head. I have cried out to the Lord with my voice, and he has answered me from his holy mountain. I lie down and sleep, I wake and I rise, because the Lord is helping me. I will not be afraid of the myriad of people who are together attacking me from all sides. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for you have struck down all those opposing me in vain. You have shattered the teeth of sinners, salvation is from the Lord, and may your blessing, O God, be upon your people. I lie down and sleep, I wake and I rise, because the Lord is helping me. down upon me. There is no health in my flesh because of your wrath. There is no peace in my bones because of my sins. For my many transgressions have risen above my head. As a heavy burden they weigh down upon me. My wounds have become foul and are festering because of my imprudent folly. 
I am suffering and utterly dejected as I go about all day long in misery, for my loins are filled with agonizing pain, and there is no healing in my flesh. I am afflicted and greatly humbled, groaning with the deep sighs of pain from my heart. O Lord, my every desire is before you, and my groaning is not hidden from you. My heart is troubled, my strength has left me. Even the light of my eyes, that too, is no longer with me. My friends and neighbors have come near to stand against me, and my close relatives stand afar off. And those seeking my soul were violent, and those seeking to harm me spoke vain things, plotting deceitful things all day long. But I, as a deaf man, did not listen, and I stood there as a mute who does not open his mouth. And so I became like a man who does not hear and who does not have anything, any retort on his mouth. For upon you, O Lord, I place my hope. You, O Lord, are my God, the one to hear me. For I said, let not my enemies rejoice over me. Let them not be boastful over me when my foot slips, for I am well prepared and ready to be scourged, and my pain is always with me. For I acknowledge and declare my iniquity, and will sorrowfully compensate for my sin. But my enemies live and have become stronger than I, and those who hate me without cause have multiplied. Now those who render me evil instead of good have slandered me, because I have pursued justice. Do not forsake me then, O Lord. Do not depart from me. Come directly to help me, O Lord, of my salvation. Do not de forsake me, O Lord, my God. Do not depart from me. Come directly to help me, O Lord, of my salvation. O God, my God, to you I rise at dawn early. My soul thirsts for you, and in many ways my body yearns for you, as if in a desert land impassable and parched. And with a strong desire I appear before you in the holy temple to see your power and your glory. For your mercy is far better than any earthly gift of life, and my lips are readily praise and glorify you. Thus I will continue to bless you throughout my life and to raise my hands for prayer in your name. My soul will thus be satisfied as with choice food and marrow and fat, and with joyful lips my mouth will praise you. As often as I remember you upon my bed and reflect upon you in the morning prayers, I realize that you have become my helper, so in the shelter of your wings I will always rejoice. My soul clings and follows closely behind you, and your right hand has upheld me. But they who in vain have sought my soul will enter into the lowest parts of the earth. They will be surrendered to those with a sword in their hand and become the prey of jackals. The king, however, will rejoice in Lord God, and everyone who vows allegiance to him will be praised, while the mouth of those speaking unjustly will surely now be shut. As often as I remember you upon my bed and reflect upon you in the morning prayers, I realize that you have become my helper. So in the shelter of your wings, I will always rejoice. My soul clings and follows closely behind you, and your right hand has upheld me. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. O Lord God of my salvation, day and night I cry out before you. Let my prayer come before you and incline your ear to my supplication, O Lord. My soul was filled with troubles and my life has touched Hades and I am accounted like those who go down into the pit, having become as a man who is helpless and free among only the dead. I resemble wounded men cast aside asleep in a grave whom you remember no more and who are thrust aside by your hand. You have placed me in the deepest pit and in dark places and in the shadow of death. The blows of your anger have fallen upon me and all your successive ways have directed upon me. You have distanced my acquaintances from me and made me abhorrent to them. I am abandoned in isolation and unable to escape. My eyesight has gone we green weak in my misery. But I have cried to you, Lord, all the day long and have lifted my, my hands to you. Will you work wonders for the dead? Or will physicians raise them up as shadows to acknowledge you? Surely no one in the grave will relate to your mercy and your truth in the place of perdition. Will your wonders be made known in the place of darkness and your justice in the land of oblivion? And so I have cried out to you, Lord, and in the morning my prayer will come to you. Why, O Lord, do you push away my soul and turn your face from me? I am poor in tribulations from my youth, and while briefly raised, I was again humbled and perplexed. Your wrath has swept over me, and your threats have utterly alarmed me and immersed me as if in water all the day long, and totally encompassed me. You have distanced me from friend and neighbor and my acquaintances because of my long struggle with illness. O Lord God of my salvation, day and night I cry out before you. Let your prayer, my prayer come before you and incline your ear to my supplication, O Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and let all that was in me bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all of his benefactions. He pardons all your iniquities and heals all your infirmities. He redeems your life from corruption and crowns you with mercy and compassion. He satisfies your needs with good things and your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord shows mercy and justice to all who are wronged 
He has made ways has made his ways known to Moses, his will to the sons of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, long suffering and abounding in steadfast love. He will not always be angry, nor will he be wrathful forever. For he does not deal with us as our sins demand, nor does he reward us according to our iniquities. <clears throat> For as the height of heaven is far from earth, so greatly has the Lord extended his mercy to those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our sins from us. As a father is compassionate to his sons, so the Lord has compassion upon those who fear him. For he knows well how we were formed, remembers that we are dust. For a man, his days are like grass, he will flourish, but as a flower of the field, for the wind will pass through it and it will soon disappear, and no one will recognize his place any longer. But the mercy of the Lord remains forever and again to those who fear him. And this righteousness remains upon the sons of sons who keep his covenant and remember his commandments and observe them. The Lord has established his throne in heaven and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, you mighty ones who do his bidding, who hearken to the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all you his heavenly powers, his ministers who carry out his will. Bless the Lord, all you his works in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, hear my prayer, accept my supplications and your truthfulness. Answer me in your righteousness, do not in the judgment of your servant. And the loving person be justified before you. For the enemy has persecuted my soul, he has humbled my life to the ground. May you sit in darkness like those long dead, and my spirit within me became despondent while my heart was deeply troubled. I remember the days of old and pondered on all your works. Reflecting on the creation of your hands, I lift up my hands to you, my soul thirsts for you like a parched land. Perfectly answer me, O Lord, my spirit is expiring. Do not turn your face away from me, at least if it like those who have gone down into the pit. Let me hear your mercy in the morning, for I have placed my heart and my hope in you. Make known to me, O Lord, the way I must follow. Just for you, I have lifted my soul. Rescue me from my enemy, O Lord, for in you have I taken refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Your good spirit shall guide me in a straight and upright path. For the sake of your name, O Lord, grant me life. In your righteousness, bring my soul out of affliction, and in your mercy, I will destroy my enemies. And bring down thing all those who afflict my soul, for I am your faithful servant. Answer in your righteousness, do not in the judgment of the servant. Answer in your righteousness, do not in the judgment of the servant. Your good spirit shall guide me in the straight and upright path. Glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, the ages of ages. Amen. Hallelujah, 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 glory to your God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to your God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to you, O God, our hope, O Lord. Glory to you. Sotirias tom sichonimon to give you the eighth oman. Kyrie eleison. Ibertis erinis to simbados cosmo evstathias to naiu to the ecclesion. Kyrie tom pandon en os eos to give you the eighth oman. Kyrie eleison. Ibert vai ui kutu tu ke tu meta piste os evlavias ke povoti ui sion den en afto to give you the eighth oman. Savon, Kertodox, on Christian, on to Kirio da Ithoman. Kirio da Ithoman. Ipart, Rai Piscop, Wemon Alexio, to to me, Presbyterio, Tis in Christo de Aconias, Pandos to Cluru, Cutulau, to Kirio da Ithoman. Kirio da Ithoman. President and all in public service and for the armed forces everywhere, let us pray to the Lord. For the holy and great Church of Christ, the city and every city and land, and the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For favorable weather and abundance of the fruits of the earth and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Travel by land, sea, and air for the sick, the suffering, and captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, 
us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever to the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Call upon his holy name. God is the Lord, and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Panda ta ethni ekiklosami ke to nomati kiriu iminamin aftus theos kirios ke pefanerimi. Ευλογημένος ο ερχόμενος εν ονόματι Κυρίου. And this came about from the Lord and it is wonderful in our eyes. God is the Lord and has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Ο Φεδρό της Αναστάσεως κήρυγμα εκ του Αγγέλου μαθούσε ε του Κυρίου μαθήτριε και την προγονική απόφαση να απορρίψασε της Αποστόλης καυχόμενε έλεγον Εσκύλευτε ο θάνατος, η γέρθη Χριστός ο Θεός, δωρούμενος στο κόσμο το Μέγα Ελεό. When the tidings of the resurrection from the glorious angel was proclaimed unto the women disciples, and our ancestral sentence also had been abolished. To the apostles with boasting did they proclaim that death is vanquished evermore, and Christ God has risen from the dead and granted to the world his great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and to the ages of ages, amen. You were born of a virgin, and you endured crucifixion for us, O oh, good Lord. By your death you divested death of spoils, and you displayed resurrection as God. Please do not despise us, the work of your hand. Demonstrate your loving kindness, O merciful Master. Defer to your mother the Theodokos when she intercedes on our behalf. And save us, your people, in despair, O Savior. mercy on us and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever-Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, Dominion, the kingdom, and the power and glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Look 
looking up at the entrance to the sepulcher, then unable to endure the angel's radiance. The murmuring women were frightened and perplexed. They said, he has been stolen who opened paradise to the robber. He has arisen who before his passion announced his rising. Indeed, God has truly risen, granting life and resurrection to those in the nether world. Δόξα Πατρί και Υιό και Αγίο Πνεύματι Εκ ουσία σου βουλή σταυρών υπόμενα σωτήρ Και νήματι και νο άνθρωποι έθεν το θνητή Τον διαλόγου τα πέρατα συστησαμένων Ω Θεέν δεσμευθείς ο αλλοτριός, θάνατος δεινός εσκύλευε το, και η ενάδεια πάντες σε κραυγαζόν τη ζωφόρο εγέρσι σου. Χριστός ανέστη ο ζωδότης, Μένον εις τους αιώνας. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us, being without any defense. We sinners offer this prayer to his master, have mercy on us. That was hidden for ages and unknown by the angels. God became incarnate. Uniting natures without confusion, and for us he voluntarily accepted crucifixion, to which he was resurrected the first woman, and he saved our souls from death. You rose as immortal Savior from the nether world, and with yourself you also raised your world by your resurrection, O Christ our God. Mightily you shattered the power of death, O Master. Merciful Lord, you show to all the resurrection. Therefore we glorify your only benevolent God. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. From exalted heights above, Gabriel came down to earth. And he sat upon the rock, wherein the rock of life had laid. Arrayed in white, he cried out to the weeping women. Women, even though you are emotional, you no longer need to lament and mourn. No more weeping for the one you are seeking has truly risen. So be of good cheer and go and tell it to his apostles that the true God has risen. Lord, stretch forth your hand Kesin <laughs> 
είδετε εμείς τον τάφο και ίστητε ο Σωτήρ γάρεξαν έστι του μνήματος. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Very early in the morning the mare bearing women were hastening to your tomb lamenting. But the angel appeared to them and uttered, The time for lamentation is Lord, ended, weep no more. Go announce the resurrection the to the Always, apostles. Now and forever, to the ages of ages. Blessed Amen. are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. When the mare-bearing woman comes to spices, the sepulchre, O Savior, hear the voice of angel fully speaking to them. Why do you count among the, Lord, among the dead the one who lives? Ios, 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 Kyrie. O Thou, and forever and to the ages of ages, Amen. Giving birth to the giver of life, O Virgin, you delivered Adam from sin. And to Eve you had rendered joy in place of sorrow. He who from you became incarnate, God and man has directed life to him who fell from it. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 vox asio theos. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Glorified is your kingdom of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of the ages. Amen. The myrrh-bearing women hurried to declare the matter of your paradoxal rising to your apostles. O Christ, that you rose as God and granted the world great mercy. Εκ νεότητος μου πολλά πολέμη με πάθη, αλλά αυτός αντιλαβού και σώσον σωτήρ μου. You who hate Zion, be shamed by the Lord, for you will be withered like grass in the fire. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. By the Holy Spirit every soul is animated, and when purified it is mystically uplifted and brightened by the triune Godhead. I have cried to you, O Lord, from the depths of my soul with fervor. Let your divine ears be attentive to me. Everyone who has their hope in the Lord is higher than anything that could sadden them. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Both now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. From the Holy Spirit the streams of grace well forth. They water all creation 
so that life be engendered. Η καρδία μου προσελόγε υψωθήτο και ουδέν θερξιμέ των του κόσμου τερπνών προς χαμεζηλίαν. Επί τη μητέρα αυτού ως έχει τη στοργήν επί το Κυρίο θερμότερο φίλτρο χτεραιωστούμεν. Δόξα Πατρί και Υιό και Άγιο Πνευματή Ενήν και Αγί Χριστούς αιώνας των αιώνων αμήν Αγίο Πνεύματι Θεογνωσίας πλούτος Θεωρίας και σοφίας πάντα γαρεν τούτο τα πατρόα δογματά ο λόγος εκαλύπτει. Arise, O Lord, help us and redeem us because of the glory of your name. Ανάστα Κύριε βοήθησον ημίν και λύτρωσε ημάς ένε και της δόξης του ονόματος σου. O God, we hear with our ears. Arise, O Lord, help us and redeem us because of the glory of your name. Ati kati eni eni tu kiri u dei thomen. Ani la hosol son elei son ge dia filak seni maso theos ti se chariti. Ispanaia sa chrandu i pervroi meni sen doxu de spini simon theotoku. Και οι παθενού Μαρία με τα πάντων των Αγίων μνημονεύσαν δε σε αυτού και αλλήλου. Και πάσα την ζωή νημών, Χριστό το Θεό παραθώμεθα. For you are the King of peace and the Savior of our souls. And to you we offer up glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. He who saved and rescued me has resurrected from the tomb and the bonds of death those born on earth. For he is God. He smashed the gates of the netherworld and on the third day he rose as the Lord of all. He rose as the Lord of all. Christ is the giver of life. He rose from the dead in the tomb on the third day. He smashed the gates of death with his might today. He neutralized Hades and crushed the sting of death. He freed Adam and Eve. Let all of us born on earth earnestly sing and praise him with gratitude. For he is our one and almighty God. And on the third day, he rose as the Lord of all. On the third day, he rose as the Lord of all. In the height of self-control, the Lord has placed you as true, an earring star illuminating all the earth and also guiding us to the light as our professor and mentor, O Father John. You have rendered yourself God's true abode, O Father, by your divine virtue, adorning it lucidly, as with the gold that glitters from afar. You set forth faith, hope, and, and true charity as divine axioms. As with angelic self-control, you practice prudence, courage, and temperance. You acquired a uh, humility by which you were exalted. Hence, you were enlightened by prayer uh, unfailing, and you attained the mansions of heaven as our professor and mentor, O Father John. As our professor and mentor, O Father John. On April 14th, we commemorate the holy apostles of the 70, Aristarchos, Budans, and Trompios. Also, on this day, we commemorate the holy martyr, Ardalion the Mime. On this day, we commemorate the holy woman, Martyr Tomias. And on this day, in the contest of martyrdom of the holy Nero martyr, Demetrius of the Peloponnesus, who was also from the Guidesta, Trefilia, and who, who died by the sword of Tripoli in the year 1803. On this day, the fourth Sunday of Lent, we commemorate our devout Father John, author of the latter. John, who was dead in the flesh while living, ever lives while appearing to be dead and not breathing. He left us his book, The Ladder for Ascending, and shows us the way of his ascent to heaven. By his intercessions, O God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. 
I open my mouth and pray the Spirit fill it like David said, to pour out a good word to the Queen and Mother of God. I will celebrate her feast with joy and gladness and sing to her merrily, lauding her miracle. Establish your servants who extol you, O Mother of God, who they have formed a spiritual choir for you, the living and abundant form. And graciously in your divine glory, give glorious crowns to O profiti sabakum, katano ne kravgaze, doxa ti dinami su kirie. Amazed was the universe by your divine magnificence, you who were perpetually virgin, carried the heavenly God of all in your womb and gave birth to the eternal Son, who awards salvation to all who sing hymns of praise to you. O godly-minded believers, come and celebrate the sacred and venerable feast of Sexto, the Theotokos, and clap our hands and glorify our God who was truly born of her. Godly-minded three, did not adore created things in the Creator's stead, rather disdaining the threat of fire, they trampled it and joyfully they sang, O supremely blessed and most exalted Lord our God, of our fathers you are blessed. And no man have loved a man, que proski no man ton Killers were the servants in the furnace, the son of the Theotokos went and rescued them. He who was prefigured then, ha having been incarnate now, is gathering the whole wide world into his church to sing. O oh, all you works of the Lord to the ages, Sing praise is to Lord and exalt him beyond measure. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Pray you are holy, our God, who rest among the saints, and to you we give glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever to the ages of ages. Amen. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord our God that we may be found worthy to hear the Holy Gospel. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. The reading of the Holy Gospel is according to St. Matthew. Let us be attentive. time the eleven disciples went to Galilee to the mountain which Jesus had directed them and when they saw him they worshiped him but some doubted and Jesus came and said to them all authority in heaven and earth has been given to me go therefore and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you and lo I am with you always to the close of the earth Having beheld the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. Your cross, O Christ, we venerate, and your holy resurrection we praise and glorify, for you are our God. Apart from you, we know no other. We call upon your name, come all faithful. Let us venerate the holy resurrection of Christ, for behold, 
the cross, joy has come to the whole world, ever blessing the Lord. Let us praise the resurrection. For enduring the cross for us, he destroyed death by death. Be Eleison meothos, cada to mego eleosu, ye cada to plithos, to nectir monsu, exolipson, to anomi mamu. Wash me thoroughly from my lawlessness, and cleanse me from my sin, for I know my lawlessness, and my sin is always before me. Against you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight, that you may be justified in words and overcome when judged. Behold, I was conceived in transgressions, and one month since my mother bore me. Behold, you love truth, and you showed me the unknown and secret things of your wisdom. Be you shall sprinkle me with hyssop, and I will be cleansed. You shall wash me, and I will be made whiter than snow. You shall make me hear joy and gladness. My bones were humbled, shall greatly rejoice. Turn your face from my sin, and blot out all my transgressions. <laughs> εν της εγκατισμού. Μη απορρίψεις με από του προσώπου σου και τα πνεύμα σου το Άγιον μην αντέλεις απ' εμού. Απόδος μη την αγαλίαση του σωτηρίου σου και πνεύμα τη γεμονικό στηρίξον με. Restore to me the joy of my salvation and uphold me with your guiding spirit. I will teach transgressors your ways, and the ungodly shall turn back to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall greatly rejoice in your righteousness. O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. For if you desired sacrifice, I would give it. You will not be pleased with whole burnt offering. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit, a broken and humbled heart. God will not despise. Do good, Lord, and you could great pleasure to Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then you will be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with offerings and all burnt offerings. And shall the offering fall on your altar, and have mercy on me, O God. Salvation. 
salvation, O Theotokos. For I have befound my soul with shameful sin, and I heedlessly squandered all of my life's resources by your intercessions deliver me from every Mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy, and according to the multitude of your compassion, blot out my transgressions. When I pondered in my wretchedness on the many terrible things that I have done, I tremble for that fearful day, the day of judgment. But I trust in the mercy of your come. Passion like David, I cry to you. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy. O God, save your people and bless your inheritance. Visit your world in mercy and compassion. Exalt the horn of Orthodox Christians and send down upon us your rich mercies. Through the prayers of our most pure lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, through the power of the precious and life-giving cross, through the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, Heaven, through the supplications of the honorable and glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, of Peter and Paul the Twelve, and the seventy holy, glorious and all lauded apostles, and of Herman the Apostle to America, of our fathers among the saints, the great ecumenical teachers and hierarchs, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John Chrysostom, of Athanasius and Cyril, John the Merciful, the Patriarchs of Alexandria, Nicholas of Mida, Spiridon of Trimithus, Nectarios of Pontopolis, and John of San Francisco, the Wonder Workers, of our fathers among the saints, Innocent and Tikhon, the Enlighteners of America, Raphael of Brooklyn, Mata Regia of Chicago, and St. Luke the Surgeon of Simropol, of the Holy Protomart and Archdeacon Stephen, and the Holy Glorious, Great Martyrs George the Victorious, Demetrius the Merce Streaming, Theodore the Recruit, Theodore the General, and Minas the Wonder Worker, of Eleftherios Caravambos, <laughs> Cosmas et Alos, John, Alexander, and Juvenali, the holy priest martyrs, of the holy, glorious, great martyrs, Thecla, Barbara, Anastasia, Catherine, Kiriaki, Fotini, Marina, Paraskevi, and Irene, of Peter the Aleut and Proto-Martyr of North America, and of the holy, glorious, and victorious 179 martyrs of the Dao Pendelis Monastery, of Kyriakos and of the unmercenary and healer Pandelehimon, of the priest confessor Alexis of Pennsylvania, Jacob of Alaska, and Sebastian of San Francisco, 
and of our venerable and God-bearing fathers and all of the holy ascetics, of the evangelist and apostle Mark, the patron saint of this holy church, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of those saints who remember today, the holy apostles of the 70, Aristarchus, Prudence, Trophimus, the holy martyr Adalion, of the holy woman martyr Thamaeus, of the holy martyrdom of the neo martyr Demetrius, and on this day, the fourth Sunday of Lent, we commemorate our devout Father John, the author of the latter, and of all your saints, we beseech you, the only all merciful Lord, hear the prayer of us sinners, and have mercy on us. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Yada Buddha, Yada Buddha, Yada Buddha. O Spodi Poli Lord, O Spodi Poli Lord, O Spodi Poli Lord. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. For the mercy, compassion, and love of mankind of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, in your all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever to the ages of ages. Let us honor and magnify the Theotokos, the mother of life. Megalini psychimuton girion, Kerigalia set of Nemo, Epito Theo, O Sotirimo, Indimio Terra, Ton Herubim. Εν οξωτέρα να συγκρεί το σοτσεραπή, είναι αδιαφόρο στερολόγων τεκούσαν. Είναι όντω θεοτόπο σε μεγαλύτερο For he has regarded the lowly state of his maidservant, for behold, henceforth all generations will call me blessed. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave her to God the word, and are truly theotokos, you will be magnified. Ότι επίσεν μη μεγαλία ο δυνατός, και Άγιον το όνομα αυτού, και το όλος αυτού εις γενεάν, και εν γενεάν της φοβουμένης αυτών. Την χειμιωτέραν των χερουβήν, και εν δοξωτέραν να συγκρίτως τον Σεραφήν, την αδεία φόρος θεολόγων τεκούσαν, την όντως Θεοτόκον σε μεγαλύνομεν. He has shown strength his arm, he has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave her to God the word, and are truly theotokos, you do we magnify. He has put down the mighty from the throne, and exalted the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave her to God the word, and are truly theotokos, you do we magnify. He's helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham and his seed forever. Kintimiotera, <speaking> <speaking> 
Την άδεια θόρο θεών λόγων τεκούσαν. Την όντω θεοτόκο σε μεγαδίνομε. Απάξ γηγενή σκυρτά το το πνεύμα τη λαμπαδοχούμενο. Πανηγυρίζε το δε. Αϊλονόν φύση γερέρουσα. Τα ιερά θαυμάσια τη Θεομήτωρο και βοάτο. Χέρι παμακάριστε, Θεότο και αγνία υπάρθενε. Αγγέλνε και εν peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Come, our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, O to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever to the ages of ages. Amen. Agios Kyrios, O Theos Imon. Holy is the Lord our God. Ipsute Kyrion ton Theon Imon. Και προσκυνείτε το υποποδίο των ποδών αυτού. Ότι αγιώ σε στη. Let us in faith now join the Lord's disciples on the mountain. In Galilee, and we shall see Christ saying he was given all of authority. Both on high and below we shall hear him teach how to baptize nations all in the name of the Father and of the Holy Spirit, the Son and the Holy Spirit. And say he always is with believers to the close of the age as he promised. You spurred the comforts of the world as being sources of distress the flesh you weathered by fasting, devout one thus renewing the vim and vigor of the soul. O Father, ever memorable, and you became exceeding rich in heavenly glory. Therefore, cease not interceding, for us. O Lady, we confess that you are Theodokos, literally. Through you we have our salvation, for you ineffably gave birth to God who neutralized the force of death by being crucified. Thus he actually attracted to himself the companies of devout monks with whom we laud you, O Virgin. Bye. 
According to the abundance of his greatness, O Christ, Savior, by your cross, guide us to your truth and deliver us from the snares of the foe. Since you have risen from the dead, reach out your hand and raise us who have fallen into sin. Open ever and Lord, at the intercessions of your saints. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet, praise him with the harp and the lyre, never parting from the Father's bosom, only begotten Logos of God. You came to earth for the sake of humanity, and without change became a man. And in the flesh you endured the cross and death, remaining impassable in divinity. As the only almighty Lord, you rose from the dead, and you granted immortality to the human race. And it of ton and Nicho Salpingos, and it of ton em saltirio ke kifara, ton patricon su colpon, ni choristis monogenes loge tu theu. Ήλθε σε πηγή δια φιλανθρωπία. Άνθρωπο γενόμενο ατρέπτο και σταυρό και θανατών υπέμεινα σαρκή. Ο απαθή στη θεότητη 
Αναστάς δε εκ νεκρών, αθανασία παρέσχες το γέννη των ανθρώπων, ως μόνος παντοδύναμος. Εγγύτε αυτόν εν την πάνω και χωρό, Ενείτε αυτόν εν χορδές και οργάνω. <coughs> Πάτερ Ιωάννη Ωσίε, μία παντός αληθός, του Θεού εν το λαρυγκή τας υψώσεις έφερες, μελετών πρακτικότατα. Τα Θεόπνευστα λόγια παν σοφέ και την εκείθεν απειβγάζουσαν χάριν επλούτησας γεγονός μακαριός των ασεβών πάντων τα βουλεύματα Catastrepsamenu. Praise him with a tremble and dance. Praise him with the strings that flew. Holy Father John, as one devout. The exaltations of God were at all times the property of your throne in every very true. As you study and practice well, the God inspired sayings as one all wise. You were enriched in your soul by the divine grace, welling up from them and becoming blessed. You fully destroyed the malicious and purposeful purposes of all impious men. En ite afton en kimvali se vihis, en ite afton en kimvali salalagmu, pas apnoi en esato ton girion, paterio aniosie, Δια παντός αληθός του Θεού εν το λαρυγκή, ας υψώσεις έφερες μελετών πρακτικότατα τα θεόπνευστα λόγια παν σοφέ και την εκείθενα να πηγάζουσαν Χάριν επλούτησας γεγονός μακαριός των ασεβών πάντων τα βουλεύματα καταστρέψαμενος. Blessed is the man who fears the Lord, he will delight exceedingly in his commandments. Holy Father John, as glory as your shadow well spring of tears, and your soul thus was purified. You propitiated God by standing in prayer all night. Thus given wings you ascended to love, and his beauty all blessed as you are. Which now worthily you are enjoyed endlessly as you rejoice with your fellow athlete monks O godly minded saints precious in the sight of the lord is the death of his holy one holy father john as one devout when you had lifted your mind unto god on the wings of your faith you despise the turbulence of the world in its transience, and on your shoulders you took up your own cross and followed after the Lord who sees things. Then the truly unruly flesh you subordinated your pious thought 
to ascetic exercise by the divine spirit's might. Ήμιος εναντίον Κυρίου ο θάνατος του οσίου αυτού, Πάτερ Ιωάννη Ιωσίε, αναπτερός αστονούν προς Θεό διαπίστεως κοσμική συγχυσεώς, ευδελίξω το άστατον και τον σταυρόν σου, Αναλαβόμενος τον παντεποπτήν κατοικολούθησας. Σωμάδι συνείων αγωγές διασκήσε ως το λογισμό στενή δουλησαμένος του Θείου Νεύματο. Λάβομα Δόξα Πατρί You, we worship you, we glorify you, 
we give thanks to you for your great glory. O Lord, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, only begotten Son, Lord Jesus Christ, and Holy Spirit, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of us, the sin of 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 the world. Receive our prayer, you who sit at the Father's right and have mercy on us, for only you are the Holy One, only you are the Lord Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father, Amen. Every day will I bless you, I will praise your name forever, to the ages of ages. Count us worthy, Lord, of passing this day without sin. For you are in the God who loves mankind, and to you do we give glory. God the of our Father, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Give me bonds and peace be with you forever. Amen. O oh, Holy Lord, you dwell on high. You see the things below. You look upon all creation with your overseeing eye. We bow our soul and body. We pray to you, O Holy of Holies. Extend your invisible hand from your holy dwelling place and bless us all. If we have sinned willingly or unwillingly, forgive us as a good and loving God, granting us your worldly and heavenly blessings. For you are God, show mercy to us and save us. And to you we give glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever in the ages of ages. Teach me your Blessed commands. is Christ our God always, now and ever, into the ages of ages. You have been our refuge, Lord, from one generation to the next. I cry out, Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul. Glory to your God, our own glory to you. I run to you, O Lord. Teach me to please May Christ our true God, who rose from the dead, is the good, loving, and merciful oh God, God of mercy, and save us from the prayers of the most pure and holy mother of the holy Lord, and the Lord of the Apostles, and Saint Mark the Evangelist. And in your oh, holy, and right hand, we got Judge Minot of Saint John Climacus, oh, Aristophos, Pudens, and all the most pure apostles of the seventies men we commemorate, and Climacus, John of the Latter. And we observe all the saints with the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God of mercy, and to save us. Blessed is our God always, now and forever, into the age of ages. May the Lord guide your steps to every good work. May the Lord our God remember you both in his kingdom, always, now and forever, into the age of ages. Amen. Praise to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill among all. Holy mighty, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, the love of all, O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall show forth your praise, O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall show forth your praise. Standing in the temple, we feel so in heaven, O Theosophos, heavenly gate, open for us the door of your tender mercy. Ευλογημένη Βασιλεία του Πατρός, 
Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. In Irini to Kiriu de Ithomen. Kiriu de Ithomen. Iper tis ano then Irini sketi sotirias tom sihonimon to Kiriu de Ithomen. Kiriu de Ithomen. Iper tis Irini to simbandos kosmu efstathias ton agion to theu eklision. Και τη των πάντων ενώσεω του κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Can city for every city and country and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, o Lord. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. The Lord has established his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom rules over all. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your Lord grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorate most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and her whole life unto Christ our God. For yours is the dominion, the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Praise the Lord, my soul. I will praise the Lord throughout my life. I will praise him as long as I have breath. So, so, ni masi etheu, o anastas ek nekron, salondasi, alleluia. Blessed is the help of the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord of God. Save us, O Son of God, who rose from the dead. Save us who sing to you, alleluia. The Lord reigns unto the ages of ages, your God of Zion, from one generation to the next. So, so, ni masi 
Ο Αναστάς εκ νεκρών, ψάλλοντας η Αλληλουία. Δόξα Πατρή και Υιό, και Αγίο Πνεύματι, εν ίν και αΐ, και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων αλλή. Ο μονογενής Υιός και Λόγος του Θεού, αθάνατος υπάρχον, και κατά δεξάμενος διά την ημέτερας σωτηρίαν, σαρκωθήνε εκ της Αγίας Θεοτόκος, και αη Παρθένη Μαρίας, πατρέπος εν ανθρωπίσας, σαν προθήστε Χριστέ ο Θεός, Thanata thanata thanatomatisas. We are one of the Holy Trinity. We are one of the Holy Spirit. 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 Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. loving God, and to you we give glory, to the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now Master and forever, and, and to the, the ages of ages. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and to the ages of ages. Wednesday night class who are coming to St. John the Ladder, you'll recognize the hymn that we are about to sing is the hymn that we open and close with each of the classes. So let's all sing together with our chanters the beautiful Apolitikion of St. John Climacus. With the rivers of your tears, you made the Illuminate. 
in wisdom. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Wisdom. The reading is from St. Paul's letter to the Hebrews. Let us be attentive. Brethren, when God made a promise to Abraham, since he had no one greater by whom to swear, he swore to himself, saying, Surely I will bless you and multiply you. And thus Abraham, 
having patiently endured, obtained the promise. Men indeed swear by a greater than themselves, and in all their disputes an oath is final for confirmation. So when God desired to show more convincingly to the heirs of the promise the, the unchangeable character of his purpose, he interposed with an oath, so that through two unchangeable things, in which it is impossible that God should prove false, we who have fled for refuge might have strong encouragement to seize the hope set before us. We have this as a sure and steadfast anchor of the soul, a hope that enters into the inner shrine behind the curtain, where Jesus has gone as a forerunner on our behalf, having become a high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. Peace be with you, the reader. In the worship guide, we have the prayer before reading scripture. This is something that we can get in the habit of doing even when we are home before reading scripture. It's a nice, beautiful prayer that helps us focus. You may follow along together. Shine within our hearts, loving Master, the pure light of your divine knowledge, and open the eyes of our minds that we may comprehend the message of your gospel. Instill in us also reverence for your blessed commandments so that having conquered sinful desires, we may pursue a spiritual life thinking and doing all those things that are pleasing to you. For you, O Christ our God, are the light of our souls and bodies, and to you we give glory, together with your Father who is without beginning, and your all holy good and life-creating spirit now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Let us be attentive. Glory to you. At that time, a man came to Jesus, kneeling and saying, Teacher, I brought my son to you, for he has a dumb spirit, and wherever it seizes him, it dashes him down, and he foams and grinds his teeth and becomes rigid. And I asked your disciples to cast it out, and they were not able. And he answered them, O oh, faithless generation, how long am I to be with you? How long am I to bear with you? Bring him to me. And they brought the boy to him, and when the spirit saw him, immediately it convulsed the boy, and he fell on the ground and rolled about, foaming at the mouth. And Jesus asked his father, How long has he had this? And he said, From childhood. And it has often cast him into the fire and into the water to destroy him. But if you can do anything, have pity on us and help us. And Jesus said to him, If you can, all things are possible to him who believes. Immediately the father of the child cried out and said, I believe, help my unbelief. And when Jesus saw that a crowd came running together, he rebuked the unclean spirit, saying to it, you dumb and deaf spirit, I command you come out of him and never enter him again. And after crying out and convulsing him terribly, it came out and the boy was like a corpse, so that most of them said, he is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him up and he rose. And when he had entered the house, his disciples asked him privately, why could we not cast it out? And he said to them, this kind cannot be driven out by anything but prayer and fasting. They went on from there and passed through Galilee. And he would not have anyone know it, for he was teaching his disciples, saying to them, the Son of Man will be delivered into the hands of men, and they will kill him. And when he is killed, after three days, 
He will rise. Peace be with you, proclaims the gospel and all of you. Again, we bow before you, our good and loving God. Hear our supplications. Enable us to walk in your mercy. You have set your lowly and worthy servants to serve at your holy altar before your holy glory. Strengthen us for this service with the power of your Holy Spirit and grant speech to our lips that we may invoke the grace of your Holy Spirit upon the gifts that are about to be offered and grant that always guarded by your power we may give glory to you. Το πατρί και το Υιό και το Άγιο Πνεύματι νυν και Αγί και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. No one bound by worldly desire to worldly to approach draw near and minister to you the King of glory to serve you as great and awesome even for your angelic powers. But because of your ineffable and immeasurable love for us, you became man without alteration or change. You served as a high priest and as Lord of all entrusted to us the celebration of this liturgical sacrifice without the shedding of blood. For you alone, Lord our God, rule over all things in heaven and on earth. You are seated on the throne of the cherubim, the Lord of the seraphim, the King of Israel. You alone are holy and dwell among your saints. You alone are good and ready to hear. Therefore, I implore you, look upon me, your sinful and unworthy servant, and cleanse my soul and heart from an evil conscience. Enable me by the power of your Holy Spirit, that vested with the grace of priesthood, I may stand before your holy table and celebrate the mystery of your holy and pure body and your precious blood. You, I come with bowed head and pray, do not turn your face away from me, nor reject me from among your children, but rather make me your sinful and unworthy servant, worthy to offer to you these gifts. For you, O Christ, the God of the offer and the offer, and the one who receives and distributed to you, we give glory to the eternal Father. In your own holy, good, and life giving spirit, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. We receive the King of all invisibly escorted by the angelic host. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. My transgression, wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you only have I sinned and done evil in your sight, that you are justified in your sentence and blameless in judgment. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity and in sin did my mother bear me. Behold, you desire truth in inward being, therefore teach me wisdom in my secret heart. Purge me with hyssop and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Fill my heart with joy and gladness. Let the bones that you have broken rejoice. Hide your face away from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create me a clean heart, O God, and put a new and right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and hold me with a willing spirit. Then they shall teach transgressors your ways and sinners shall deliver me. Deliver me from the guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation. And my tongue will sing aloud of your deliverance. For you are no delight in sacrifice, for I to give them an offering you would not be pleased. A sacrifice except from the God is a broken spirit. A broken and contrite heart, O God, you will not despise. Do the good, O Lord, your good pleasure to Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then they shall have the bullets upon your altar, and have mercy upon me, O God. Forgive me a sinner and have mercy upon me. 
forgive those who hate us and those who love us. upon the name of the Lord. Svenatsu tsarvo svoje, svdada sada i uvek i u svekova. Sorino antonamente ora e siempre, por los siglos de los siglos. Amen. May the Lord our God remember us all in his heavenly kingdom, both now and forever, <coughs> and on to the ages of ages. <coughs> shall be offered upon your altar and have mercy upon me, O God. The noble Joseph, taking down your most pure and spotless body, anointed it, wrapped it, anointed with aromatic spices, and wrapped it in a new tomb. May the Lord God remember you of the action and submission of your right for us now forever. Preroso man, tindai sinimon to kirio. Without the shedding of blood for our sins, for the transgressions of your people, grant that having accepted the sacrifice upon your holy heavenly and spiritual altar, as you offer the spiritual fragrance, may it return to them upon us the grace of your holy spirit. 
That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask the Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful God, and guard your souls and our bodies, let us ask the Lord. The forgiveness and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. to our souls and for peace in the world let us ask the Lord this, o Lord for the completion of our lives in peace and repentance let us ask the Lord this, o Lord and ever virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. Through you, O Lord. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy good and life-giving spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us love one another that with one mind we may confess. Let us be attentive. All together, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. And he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again with glory to judge the living and dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, which proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets. In one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Stomen kalo, stomen metafovu, proskumenti na yena na foran, en irini prosferi. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Us, Gardias, let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Eftaristis, 
μεν το Κύριου λέρες και thanks το δαλό. For you are praised by the angels, archangels, thrones, dominions, principalities, authorities, powers, and the many-eyed cherubim. Round about you stand the seraphim, one with six wings and the other with six wings. With two they cover their faces, with two they cover their feet, with two they fly, crying out to one another with unceasing voices, singing the victory hymn, proclaiming, crying out, and saying, Adonda, vonda, ke krauta, ke lewonda. Holy, holy, holy Lord, Sabaoth, heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Hosanna to God in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. that he might fill all things with himself. He loosed the bonds of death. He rose on the third day, having opened a path for the all flesh to the resurrection from the dead, since it was not possible that the author of life would be dominated by corruption. So he became the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep, the firstborn of the dead, that he might be himself the first in all things, ascending into heaven. He sat at the right hand of your majesty on high, and he will come to render to each according to his works. As memorials of his saving passion, he has left us these gifts, which we have set forth before you according to his commands. For when he was about to go forth to his voluntary, ever memorable and life-giving death, on the night on which he was delivered up for the life of the world, he took bread in his holy, pure, and blameless hands, and presenting it to you, God the Father, and offering thanks, blessing, sanctifying, and breaking it, he gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take eat, this is my body, which is broken for you for the remission of sins. Lavete, foyete, tutumo estito soma. To iperimon colomenon is apes in amartion. Likewise, he took the cup of the fruit of the vine and having mingled it, offering thanks, blessing and sanctifying it. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles saying, drink of this all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. For as often as you drink this cup and eat this bread, you proclaim my death and you confess my resurrection. Therefore, Master, we also remembering his saving passion and life-giving cross, his three-day burial and resurrection from the dead, his ascension into heaven at your right hand, God and Father in his second and glorious and awesome second coming. We offer to you these gifts from your own gifts in all and for all. We dare to approach your holy altar and bring forth the symbols of the holy and body and blood of your Christ. We pray to you and call upon you, O Holy of Holies, that by the favor of your goodness, your Holy Spirit may come upon us and upon the gifts here presented to bless, sanctify, and make. Father, bless the holy bread. This bread to be the precious body of our Lord, God, and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, bless the holy And cup. this cup to be the precious blood of our Lord, God, and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Bless both holy gifts. Shed for the life and the salvation of the world. Amen. 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 And unite to those who partake of them, to all of us. 
partakers of the one bread and the cup in the communion of the Holy Spirit. Grant that none of us may partake of the holy body, blood of your Christ, to judgment or condemnation, but that we may find mercy and grace with all the saints who please you throughout the ages. Forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and for every righteous spirit made perfect in the faith. Especially for our most holy, holy for all your saints, and the supplications of God, remember us. And visit us. Remember those of all people who have returned away. The service got Maximus and Zoe, George, but as that Athanasius, George, Anastasia, Lord, it's on the day of order. Athanasius, the priest, that demon, Yanni, Athanasius, Socrates, the priest, Gideapos, George, Harry, the service fell at Cleopatra, Constantine, James, Gus, George, the Lord, the Lord, for the servants of God. Sophia, and for all of those who have fallen asleep, and grant them rest, O God, the light of your countenance shine. Again, we ask, O Lord, be mindful of your holy Catholic and Apostolic Church, which is from one end of the earth to the other. From you, our God, was incarnate and became a child. Great is the name of the Trinity. salvation. Remember, O oh God, all those whom we have not remembered through ignorance, forgetfulness, or because of their multitude, since you know the name and age of each, even from our mother's womb. For you, O oh Lord, are the helper of the helpless, the hope of the hopeless, the savior of the afflicted, the haven of the voyager, and the physician of the sick. Be all things to all people, you who know each person, his requests, their household, and their need. Deliver this parish and city, O oh Lord, and every city and country from famine, plague, earthquake, hurricane, flood, fire, sword, invasion of foreign enemies, and civil war. Above all, remember, Lord, our Archbishop Alexios, grant that he may serve your holy churches in peace. Keep him safe, honorable, and healthy for many years, rightly teaching the word of your truth. Also remember, Lord, those whom each of us calls to mind, and all your people. And all your people. Declare us to be sons and daughters of the light and of the day. Grant us your peace and love, and love, O Lord, for you have given us all the things to come. And we pray, O Lord, for those enduring religious persecution throughout the world. We pray, O Lord, for peace in the Ukraine and peace in the Middle East, for the softening of the hearts of the aggressors, for the servants of God, Susan, Bill, Argiros, Sofia, Ladi, Alexandra, Marlene, Stavros, Margarita, Alpida, Dean, Connie, Kathy, Irene, Zachary, Eugenia, Olivia, Constantinos, Lena, Christos, Katarina, Anna, Popey, and Peter. And grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honored and majestic name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. 
mercy of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with all of you. And with your spirit. Good morning. I greet you with much love and joy as we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ. As we're preparing ourselves for Pascha, we still have a few weeks left, of course. Allow me to bring in mind that if you would like to go, there's a table in the hall today that you may purchase and make a donation for Easter lilies, Pascha donations. There's a table for Realm. We're moving all of our communication to Realm. So if you are not a steward who has Realm, I encourage you to download the app and go speak to that table today. But also, it's important that all of our events will now go on Realm. So for instance, our Palm Sunday luncheon that we'll be sponsoring here, delicious catered in haddock fish and chips, so I invite all of you to be there, can all be purchased on Realm. So all you have to do is open your app, go to it and make that purchase. It's indeed a blessing. There's also the golf tournament table in the hall as well as our Philopticos table. That's an opportunity for you to learn about the new ministries and grow closer. We have a lot of golfers, we need our sponsors, so let's all work together for this beautiful event. There's no secret that this church has always been a church that is focused on outreach and missions. This church has always been a church that understood the importance of not just looking within, but looking out. There's a very specific reason that as you walk out of the church, on the right-hand side in the inner narthex, there's a magnificent icon of the Great Commission, Matthew 28, where it says, Go therefore, Jesus telling his apostles, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. What a blessing that we have this icon in the church. This really helps us set the stage, really helps us understand the importance of not looking in, but looking out. Each Sunday during Lent, we focus on a different ministry. Today, this beautiful ministry is OCMC. You might say, what are those four letters? Orthodox Christian Mission Center. They are responsible in our archdiocese and all of America for all of the mission outreach throughout the world. They send teams to Guatemala, to Alaska, to Haiti. They send teams to Kenya, to Africa, different parts. They send teams to preach the gospel at all times. We are blessed at St. Mark with, of course, Helen Nikosisis and Athena Economou who are on the board of the Mission Center nationally. We are also blessed that we've had in the past many faithful who have served in this, on this board. But also, we have people who went on mission trips. But as Edetta and I did 31 years ago to Kenya, Christina Katsupis went to Alaska. Juliana Leandis, my, our daughter, went also to Alaska, and then, oh, to Albania, and Christina went back to Albania. We have done at the church, we have supported Project Mexico, which has now come under that realm, and we are going to send a team again next year. These are all possibilities for us to look outside of who we are. So today is OCM Say Sunday, Mission Sunday. Missions throughout the world. In the back of the church, there are little boxes, and they are the SAMP, OCMC coin boxes. Take one. Put any loose change you might have. We don't do loose change as much anymore, so I always tell people, if you don't have the change, put a check in there at the end of the Lenten season so we can give to OCMC. You know it's important because through OCMC, we built and are building our St. Mark Church in Kenya. It's only by God's grace and through the OCMC that we're able to do something like this. And very special, beautiful news. The other evening I got a call from Bishop Neofitos of Kenya, and you've read about it, and he told us, Father Mark, I want to come to Boca Raton to thank the people and to be with you. So this Wednesday night, we are not going to have our usual Wednesday night class, but we'll have our pre-sanctified liturgy at 6, led by His Grace. Bishop Neofitos, and then following, he's going to speak to all of us as one on the updating of the church in Kenya, but also what it's like to be an Orthodox hierarch in Kenya, in Eldoret, spreading the gospel. And that's a blessing. So all of these things come in line at the right time. And I didn't ask for this. It just all kind of comes into play that on the day that we're celebrating Mission Sunday, OCMC Sunday, we're able to do that, something this great. So as you leave church today, there's going to be baskets as we do every Sunday in Lent. 
Throughout the year, you don't see us passing baskets for special occasions, and today is a special occasion. So I ask you, as you're leaving, please be generous in our gift to OCMC, and know also that $1,000 of this will also be matched by our philoptikos, which is in true to blessing during Lent. So with that, let's all remember, let's keep our missionaries always in our prayers, and let's each of us think about how we can become missionaries through OCMC and possibly work together on going on a trip, which we hope to do when the St. Mark Church in Kenya is built. We're planning on leading, Gerard and I are planning on leading a mission trip to Kenya. And all of you are invited if you'd like to come. God bless us all. May we praise our loving Lord always. Amen. Pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts here presented and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That our God, who loves mankind, having accepted at his holy, celestial, and mystical altar as an offering of spiritual fragrance, may return send down upon us the divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Lord have mercy. Having asked for the unity of faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves into one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, με τα παρησία σε κατακρίτου στον μάνα πικαλίστε σε τον απουράνιο Θεό πατέρα και λέγει Πάτερ ημών, ο εν της ουραγής αιεστείτε το όνομά σου ερδέρτου η βασιλεία σου γεννηθεί το τελειμά σου ως εν ουρανό και έπι της ζής τον άρτην ημών την επιούσια δώσει μην σήμερον και άφησε γίνει το επελήμητα ημών ως και εμείς αφήμες ο περαίτητος ημών και εμείς εν έγκυσης μας εις πειρασμών αλλά ρίσε εμάς από του πονερού. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you all. Distance the them Lord. from every evil deed, lead them to every good work, and make them worthy to partake without condemnation of these, your life-giving and pure mysteries for the forgiveness of sins and life eternal. Amen. By the grace, mercy, and love Lord for Jesus us Christ, God, of your us, only your begotten place, Son, and from the with whom you are kingdom, blessed, you are together with the your all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, and let now your pure body and forever, precious blood be given to us to the by your mighty hand and of ages. God, forgive me a sinner and have mercy upon me. God, forgive me a sinner and have mercy upon me. God, forgive me a sinner and have mercy upon me. Let us be attentive, proscomia. Daia, this is the holy gift for the holy people of God. Break, the Lamb of God is broken and distributed, broken yet not Master divided forever, holy and holy. ever consumed. Sanctify those who partake of Him, Jesus, Christos, Nika, the cup is filled with the faith in the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed is the fervor of your saints, always now and forever, in the age of ages. Amen. My brothers and come celebrants, forgive me, Mark, you were the priest. My brothers and sisters in Christ, forgive me, Mark, the unworthy priest. Behold, I approach Christ, our mortal King and our God. The precious body of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, forgive me, Mark, you the priest, for the remission of sins and life eternal. Again, I approach 
Christ, our mortal King, and our God. The precious blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, giving Mark and the priest, and the life of the Father. Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Touch my lips, my sins are forgiven, and my guilt is taken away. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. This past Monday, our parish council president and I, John Voitilla, traveled to Atlanta to see Metropolitan Alexios, to receive his blessing, to talk about the wonderful work and ministry of St. Mark, and to give him an update. It was truly a blessed time. You would think that as we were traveling there, and I say this with love, John, our parish council president, who was there with us, was so excited to share with the bishop and with all of us, not necessarily first about St. Mark, but he said, Your Eminence, Your Grace, can I just show you something? And he opened up his phone, and he took out a video on his phone, and it was his granddaughter, Samantha, taking her first steps. He was so excited to share that. I think I saw that video 15 times that day, and I say that. But that's indeed a blessing, taking our first steps. We all remember, remember when our children were little, coming close to that 11 months, 12 months, right there where they're at, where they're getting ready to take their first steps. An exciting time for us, a time that's always with smiles. I think, though, looking back, you really don't know how that will change your life and how once they start walking, they don't stop. But it's indeed such a blessing. Taking steps in the church is an also blessing for us to take. Each Sunday of Holy Lent, we have this opportunity and they build upon each other to walk closer to God. The first Sunday of Lent is the Sunday of Orthodoxy a beautiful time when we celebrate the veneration of icons. The second Sunday event is St. Gregory Palamas. His teachings on the divine light are indeed magnificent. The third Sunday of light is the veneration of the cross. Just when we're starting to get a little tired, just like we're starting to feel like, ah, Lent is almost over, the cross comes to us and is lifted up in our midst so that we too can be lifted up for strength, for perseverance, for excitement to continue the fast. And then on the fourth Sunday of Lent, it's the beautiful saint, Saint John Climacus, who wrote The Ladder of Divine Ascent. This is the book that we are studying in our book class. This is the book that we announced about four weeks ago, and we've sold almost 70 copies of this book to our faithful, which is indeed a blessing. That means you're reading, you're growing, you're taking your steps. He was one of the most influential writers. This book is typically read by the monastics, by monks during Lent as an opportunity for them to grow closer. St. John, who wrote this, was a 6th century monk who entered the famous St. Catherine Monastery in Egypt, founded in the late 4th century. He entered at 16 years old. Imagine that. 16 years old, he entered the monastery. During his 40 years prior to his election to become abbot, he experienced all the different forms of monasticism that are studied there. Communal or cenobitic monasticism, solitary monasticism, and then small monastic skeets with a spiritual father and a few monks. So he experienced all of these. He wrote the beautiful Ladder of Divine Ascent. He wrote the ladder. It describes 30 steps or 30 rungs that a monastic should take and use towards spiritual direction, spiritual reflection, and spiritual perfection. We've been studying this book, and we're understanding the beautiful elements of it. No one can climb the ladder in a single stride. It's impossible but rather it takes years, patience, metania, repentance, a constant moving upward and a constant falling backward. 
but it should be seen as a spiritual goal. Maybe we will never get to the 30 rungs, all the way to the top, but that's okay. It's about the process, and that process is so important as us Orthodox Christians, especially as we're focusing on the resurrection. We want to get to the resurrection, but let's take a few steps back. It's the fourth Sunday of Lent. We have a few more weeks. Let's enjoy the process. Don't look, look, don't just look at the ending and saying, I can't wait for that evening. Yes, we're all excited for it, but enjoy the process that leads up to it. Enjoy step one. Enjoy step two. Enjoy all the processes that we do. The book that we are reading actually is a beautiful, concise layman's version of this, Advice to Monks. And it's very clear that there is not one better than the other. Sometimes we look at monastics and we say, oh, they're all pure. No. It's really important. The married life, the life of living in the world, is just as important at the monastic rite. But there are two important elements in Orthodox Christianity. They are there praying for us in the world. We are here working our salvation out in the world. We read this, and it's very important that these steps we can use as a complete checklist, climbing guide for the goal of reaching the summit of what it means to be made in the image and likeness of God. Some of the steps, for example, include renunciation, renouncing the world. Very easy, we would say, concept for a monk to renounce the world, to leave everything behind. But for us, how do we renounce the world in everyday lives? Something a little more difficult. We also know that there's detachment, follows renunciation, detachment from worldly things. We don't need Toys, toys, cars, how we don't need. What we need is the inner. What we need is the spiritual life to walk us there. Another step that it speaks out is the fundamental virtues of obedience. An example of repentance to start refresh in life, to always start over. Another example, and I'm not going to read all of them, is, of course, the spiritual passions of learning to let them go. Once we confess them to God, letting them go. We do that by accepting Christ. Another step, talkativeness and silence. St. John wrote this so that the monk and the nun would not be chittering or chattering all the time. We, too, can learn from this, can't we? that sometimes excessive talkativeness is too much. Sometimes we need our silence, our quiet time to grow closer. It's interesting. The latter is set before us on the fourth Sunday of Lent to give us a historical understanding of St. John in the Mount Sinai, but also a spiritual understanding of our journey. And I say this with all of my heart. When we are working out our salvation, we need everyone to be involved. Salvation is not a personal thing, but rather a communal thing. Whether you're in the monastery and you have your brothers surrounding you or you're in a convent and you have your sisters surrounding you, you need those people to help hold you accountable. A spiritual father, you need brothers and sisters to grow with you. In the world, we also need the church. The church is what gives us that accountability. That church reminds us of how we walk and how we take each of those steps through a spiritual father, through walking in his commandments. These are ways that we can grow closer to him. So if you look at this ladder, I said earlier, you cannot go from step one to the top. It's literally impossible. Sometimes in life, we get to one, we get to two and we think in our heart that we're ready to go to three, but the reality is something happens, we sin, we fall, and what happens? We go back down to one. The author of the book says, it's interesting, for me, this is what he says, I feel like I'm always, and I've never passed step two. I've never got past step two. It's a continual walking up, giving glory to God. That's our goal, is to keep walking toward Christ, salvation. But as we go and the closer we get, we know the evil one works hard and he's trying to pull us down. And that's why if you look at the icon of the ladder of divine ascent, you see a ladder going from earth to heaven. And at the top, you see Jesus Christ welcoming. But on the bottom, 
you see the rungs, 30 rungs. And as the monks in this beautiful image, which we have in the bookstore, are walking up, you see demons pulling them down and trying to pull them off. Very symbolic of our own personal and spiritual communal struggle to walk towards salvation. My brothers and sisters, you cannot do it alone. We need the church in our lives. We need to be focusing on Christ. We need to be always walking, getting on that first step, sometimes falling down. It might take years to get here or years to get here. But the important thing is you keep trying. And that's what Lent does for us. It gives us the opportunity to grow closer to Him. So what I urge you today, I urge you, if you haven't done so yet, make a change this Lenten season and do something different from the past. Do something to hang on to Christ, looking at the resurrection. So on that great day when we're celebrating the Anastasi, the resurrection, we can all feel that we've given a little something. We've grown just a little. Every step, but my brothers and sisters, one step at a time. May our Lord Jesus Christ bless us on this journey as we walk up to him always. Amen. I believe and confess, Lord, that you are truly the Christ, the Son of God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. Your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, known and unknown, and make me worthy without condemnation to partake of your pure mysteries for the forgiveness of sins and for life eternal. Amen. How shall I, who am unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I dare to enter into the bridal chamber, my clothing will accuse me, since it is not a wedding garment, and being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Loving Master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my condemnation because of my unworthiness, but for the cleansing and sanctification of soul and body and the pledge of the future life and kingdom. It is good for me to cling to God and to place in Him the hope of my salvation. Receive me today, Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not betray your mysteries to your enemies, nor give you a kiss as did Judas, but as a thief I confess you, Remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. With the fear of God, with faith, love, draw near. Precious body and blood of our Lord and our God and our Savior Jesus Christ, and forgive us of our sins and for life eternal. Amen. The servant of God, the of Jesus, 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 the precious body and blood of our Lord and our God and our Savior Jesus Christ, and forgive us of his sins and life eternal. Amen. 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 Servant of God, Panayote, blood of our Lord and our God. Jerusalem, the most precious body of blood. Forgiveness of her sins. Zacharula, the most precious body of blood of our Lord and our God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Sarsimatios, 
exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he answered me, and from all my fears he set me free. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise be ever on my lips. My soul will glory to him and be radiant that your faces may not blush with shame when the poor cry out the Lord hears them and rescues them from all their distress I will bless the Lord at all times his praise be ever on my lips my soul will glory 
those who fear him to rescue them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Happy are they who take refuge in him. I will bless the Lord at all times. His friends be ever on my lips. My soul will glory in the Lord. People and bless your inheritance, Sos no Theos and Maonsu, Kevrois on Tinkridonomiansu. He no meant to force so a little note, a love of men, never a poor anion. He no meant to sin a little, and the air and the other of the heavens to glory be all the earth. Divine, holy, pure, immortal, heavenly life, and awesome mysteries of Christ. Let us worthy give thanks to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commend ourselves in one another and our whole life under Christ our God. We thank you, Lord our God, the communion of your holy, most pure, immortal, and heavenly mysteries, which you have granted us for the benefit, sanctification, healing of our souls and bodies. Grant, Master of all, that the communion of your holy body and blood of our Christ may become for us faith unashamed, love unfeigned, fullness of wisdom, healing of soul and body, repelling of every hostile adversity, observance of your commandments, and an acceptable defense at the dread judgment seat of your Christ. For you are our sanctification, and to you we offer glory, to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Opportunity, 
We pause and offer memorial prayers, a 40-day memorial for Richard Viacos, a one-year memorial for Evelyn Leffis, a one-year memorial for Cornell Zamed, a four-year memorial for Ioanni Skulmanda, a five-year memorial for Mike Cartier, and a one-day memorial for the servant of God, George, who passed away. Let us all keep them in prayer as we ask our eternal Lord to have mercy on their souls. In your place of rest, O Lord, where all your saints repose, give rest to the souls of your servants, for you alone are immortal. Now and forever and unto the ages of ages, amen. O only pure and immaculate virgin who gave birth to God in virginity, pray for the salvation of the souls of your servant. With the saints give rest, O Christ, to the souls of your servants, where there is no pain, sorrow, or suffering, but life everlasting. <laughs> Sleep and for the forgiveness of all their sins, both voluntary and involuntary. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. May the Lord God place their souls where the righteous repose. Let us ask for the mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, and the remission of their sins from Christ our immortal King and God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O God of spirits and of all flesh, you trampled upon death and abolished the power of the devil and given life to your world. Give rest, O Lord, to the souls of your servants, Richard, Cornell, Evelyn, Ioannis, Mike, and George, who have fallen asleep in a place of rest, in a place of comfort, in a place of light where there is no more pain, sorrow, or suffering as a good and loving God. Forgive every sin which they have committed, whether in word or deed or thought, for there is no person who lives and does not sin, except for you, the only sinless one. Your righteousness is eternal righteousness, and your word is truth. <laughs> Και εσύ την δόξα να αναπέμπομεν στην το ανάρχο σου πατρί και το Παναγίο και αγαθό και ζωπιό σου πνεύματι νυν και αγί. Και εις τους αιώνας 
των αιώνων. Αμήν. For you, O Christ, our God, are the resurrection, the life, and the rest of your departed servants whom we remember today, who have fallen asleep, and unto you we offer glory, together with your eternal Father, your all-holy, good and life-giving Spirit, now and forever, Amen. and unto the ages of ages. Amen. May your memory be eternal, our dear brothers and sisters, worthy of blessedness and eternal memory. May your memory be eternal, our brothers and sisters, who are worthy of blessedness and eternal memory. May your memory be eternal, our brothers and sisters, who are worthy of blessedness and eternal memory. come upon you through his divine grace and love for us always, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to your God, our hope, glory to you. May Christ our true God, who rose from the dead, is a good, loving, and merciful God, have mercy on us and save us through the intercession of his most pure and holy mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, the holy glorious and praiser of the apostles, the holy glorious and triumphant martyrs of St. Mark the Evangelist, the patron saint of our church, of Joachim and Anna, the ancestors of the Lord, of St. Basil the Great, whose liturgy we celebrate today, St. John Climacus, whose feast day we celebrate today, and of all your saints, have mercy in us and save us, for you are a good God who loves mankind. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy in us and save us. Amen. May the holy charity for death keep all of you. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us all rejoice and be glad in it. I forgot to make mention of one more thing. Today, you're not going to see myself or Father Alex in the fellowship hall. We're going to be walking around the entire church grounds with our parish council, with, led by Dino Mastarakis and Jim Dovis, who are leading this effort. And we're looking at all the things that need to be done to the church, from painting and scraping, etc., and filling in and all the cracks and crevices. But also, on Easter night, which is the Anastasy. We will celebrate here. After the service is done, we invite you in the fellowship hall for a break the fast. We'll have our traditional tsureki and beautiful soup made by John Argyros with some uh, feta cheese and some eggs that are out to celebrate. But also, since it's Cinco de Mayo that day, and also St. Irene, but Cinco de Mayo that day, we're also gonna have a beautiful 
I have to say, Yiro Tacos, which are going to be there that night. So join us that day. We'll celebrate all together with the world. May God bless you always. Over and a reminder, Wednesday night, Bishop Neofitos of Eldoret in Northern Kenya will be here at St. Mark. Give generously to the OCMC. May God bless you all. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for He is God. Hallelujah, for His mercy endure it forever and ever. Hallelujah. All the nations around. Prepared a table for me in the presence of mine.